already heading in. For Hamilton Center. Mr. Speaker, today thousands of shoes have been placed on Parliament Hill representing those who died of COVID-19 in long-term care homes across Canada. For-profit long-term care homes run by Rivera Inc., a wholly owned subsidiary of the public sector pension investments, are among the worst in the country for COVID deaths. The Public Service Alliance has called on PSP to end its investments in these appalling facilities. The government can end the suffering that our seniors and people with disabilities are facing in homes owned by Rivera Inc. now. Will the Prime Minister commit to ending the for-profit nature of long-term care homes in Canada? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I think I can speak for all of us to say that we must do better to protect the lives of people who are living in long-term care and communal living settings. It is very important that we work together with provinces and territories to do so, which is why the Safe Restart Agreement included $740 million to provinces and territories to strengthen their processes to protect against infection from COVID-19. Mr. Speaker, we'll do more. The speech from the throne committed to national standards on long-term care, and that's exactly what we intend to do with provinces and territories. Territories. The Honourable Member for Kitchener South Hespler. Mr. Speaker, travel agents worry they will have to return thousands of dollars in commission under the new airline bailout plan. Independent travel agents who have already paid back thousands in, in earned commission from refunded airline tickets are worried they will owe thousands more after ministers suggested that any kind of government bailout of the airline industry would hinge on companies issuing refund to customers. Can the minister please explain what protections the government has in place for travel agents under the new bailout plan. Thank you, Mr. The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I made very clear on the 8th of uh, November, uh, in an aid package to the air sector would require certain conditions with the airlines. And one of those conditions was to reimburse uh, ticket holders who had been given vouchers. And that is something that we are going to do. We are beginning those negotiations with the air sector. I can't go into details about how those negotiations will proceed, but uh, our initial position has been made very clear. Thank you. Et tout le temps que nous avons Aujourd'hui, it's all the time. It's all the time we have. L'honorable député. The honorable member for Louis Saint Laurent. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as usual on a Thursday, we have a question concerning the uh, parliamentary proceedings. We know that uh, this is the uh, uh, final. Um, uh, we're heading to the finish line in terms of Christmas, so I'd like to know what uh, we can expect in terms of parliamentary proceedings over the next two weeks. But especially, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to know whether the government is going to follow up on the proposal that we made yesterday to hold a take note debate on the quality of French, the French language in Montreal. The Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I'd like to thank my Honourable Colleague. Order. We'd like to hear what uh, is asked and what is replied. Thank you. I just want everyone, if they're going to talk, please whisper or maybe go to the lobby. The Honourable Government House Leader. Once again, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank my Honourable Colleague for his question. And it's so relevant uh, that he repeats it every week. And uh, for its and it's uh, very useful for the advancement of parliamentary work. So this afternoon, we're going to continue debate at second reading on uh, Bill C-10, the Broadcasting Act. Tomorrow, we will uh, resume debate at third reading of Bill C-3, the Judges Act. Monday of next week, will be devoted to the study of Bill C-8 concerning the call to action number 94 of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And Tuesday, we will begin study of Bill C-11, the Digital Charter Implementation.